pivoting career is less about starting from scratch, kind of having a clean slate, and instead it is about um, intentional shift, a shift in, in a new direction. You collect useful and valuable skills in every job. Um, for example, I'm a designer, but I also build processes and I manage, manage projects. I lead cross-functional teams and strategy and execution. So just by reframing my experience um, and focusing on my skills, rather than my job title, you can kind of see how I become more marketable and then I can start seeing um, new opportunities. So leverage those transferable skills to propel yourself um, onto a new path and market those skills, whether it's online, offline, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, your own website, um, market them. But um, it's, it's not, you're not starting from scratch. You, everyone, again, said I went from this role to that role and I bring something with me. Um, and then um, I would also say, be patient. Don't give up. Change doesn't happen overnight. Um, believe in yourself, bet on yourself, because you might be the only person feeling that way about you at times. Um, and then um, I mentioned mentors um, in, in, in point two. Reach out to relevant people in the industry that you're interested in and ask them about their career trajectory. Believe it or not, people love to talk about themselves. And mostly they're generous enough to meet with you and give you an insider's perspective um, on the industry you're interested in. They may give you an advice on how to best position yourself, um, but they might even connect you to somebody who is more relevant and, and helpful. So just be curious, ask, put yourself out there and, and don't give up. We probably spend way too much time like stressing what happens when we change careers or how we like set ourselves up for success when we go down another path i think like um there's a great book it's called the score takes care of itself like i think that we can spend a lot less time um worrying about like choosing paths and thinking about what our future is going to be because i can tell you right now like whatever you do coming out of school you're probably not going to do 20 years later um and that's a good thing so for me, like setting yourself up for success is just remaining curious, staying like super tuned into the communities that you care about, the things that you're passionate about, like maintaining that thread of, I think it is curiosity is like single thing that will keep you sort of mentally able to, to do things like pivot from one job to the next, one career path to the next. I think at last count I've done 15 different things in the world of like advertising and marketing. My first job was in reality TV. I was editing the real world. Like at that time, I did not think 20 years later, I'd be working in like technology companies in Silicon Valley. 